DNA is in every cell in the body. It stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. It's what makes us who we are. Everyone's DNA has a different sequence, and that's what makes us all different. Did you know that the DNA of an onion is nearly two-thirds the same as yours? DNA is a double helix shaped molecule. The word helix means twisted shape. DNA looks a little like a ladder but twisted. To replicate itself, the helix structure undoes like a zip. There are four different bases in DNA and they always pair up in the same way. Let's see how this works. Welcome to the DNA dating game. Let's meet our contestants. Come in, Thiamine! Adeline! Cytokine! Guanine! Who are you attracted to? I only ever go for adenine. I'm sorry to see What type of DNA guy are you looking for? I really fancy guanine. <laughs> so, Fimeen, how you doing? Hmm, adenine is the only man for me. New DNA is made every time a single cell divides. Three nucleotides are attracted to their partner nucleotides on each strand. Hi! Hi! Hello! Two new molecules of DNA are made, each being an identical copy of their parent DNA. Hello, good evening and welcome. Who'd live in a cell like this? Scott, it's over to you. DNA is made of like two strands, whilst RNA is made of by only one strand. Watch closely because remember, the clues are there as we go through the keyhole. The RNA breaks off and finds a ribosome. The RNA nucleotides are given their pairs and become DNA. And each set of three DNA becomes different proteins. Isn't that right, Scott? Yes, that is correct, Gurdip. This is called protein synthesis, and it's the different combinations of protein that make us all different. This should tell us something, maybe quite a bit, about the DNA that lives here. Through mm -hmm. the, the cell, cell keyhole. Key